Today, the former leader of the Orleans Parish 911 Communications District was indicted. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Sharice is off tonight. Tyrell Morris resigned after WWL Louisiana investigator David Hammer exposed allegations that Morris covered up a car crash in a city owned vehicle. Last November, the Office of the Inspector General confirmed David's reporting in an investigation that has now led to criminal charges. Lily Cummings is joining us now with more on what those charges are. Lily. Well, Devin Morris is facing malfeasance in office, false personation of a peace officer, insurance fraud, and injuring public records. The Orleans Parish District Attorney is gearing up for a criminal trial against former Orleans Parish Communications Director Tyrell Morris. In a statement to WWL Louisiana, Morris's attorney said in part, Tyrell Morris significantly improved the 911 call center during his tenure there. This case is retaliation by the Office of Inspector General. Melanie Talia, president of the New Orleans Police and Justice Foundation, says Morris's charges do not come as a surprise. I think it shows the importance uh, that role in our public safety uh, and what happens when the person who fills that role is not properly qualified. Let's refresh your memory on what exactly happened. Communications one. All right. You mark that call up um, NAT, uh, all the parties exchange information. That's Morris on May 7th, 2023, calling in a car wreck. Take a look. Morris was the driver of this city vehicle you see waiting at a red light near Elysian Fields and I-610. He veers right and hits this driver. WWL Louisiana investigator David Hammer uncovered that not only did Morris tell dispatch the two drivers exchanged information, but no police report was ever filed. David's investigation also revealed that Morris did not follow OPCD policy, avoiding a drug and alcohol test following the crash. David, I remember you calling me and you telling me about the metadata. David uncovered the metadata Councilwoman Helena Moreno is referencing. It showed that Morris altered the OPCD's policy days after the crash, requiring employees to submit a drug and alcohol test only if there are reported injuries. The Office of Inspector General confirmed David's findings and also found that Morris lied on the insurance claim. The OIG's report also shows Morris referred to himself as a police officer. Morris was never a commissioned officer, but often wore a similar uniform. Does he have a badge? Is that an NOPD you, badge that he wears and four stars? Are those part of an NOPD uniform? Are you being funny right now? Two months after the crash, Morris resigned and the OPCD chose a new leader, who Talia says is making necessary improvements. If he can get fully staffed, um, address the concerns about communications between the dispatchers and the first responders, we'll be off to a, a much better place than we have been. And the inspector general's office declined to comment because it is an ongoing litigation. We did reach out to Mayor Cantrell's office, but we have not heard back yet.